so uh, throughout my uh, life in medical college uh, you know i um, uh, always uh, used to think that uh, uh, i wanted to be a physician uh, so uh, so so that i could save lives and uh, little did i know that um, uh, uh, you know saving lives is not just about um, uh, uh, life and death it's uh, bringing a change uh, uh, you know to the society well if you have found this video probably you have a habit of using a lot of filler words and sounds like um uh you know actually uh, so and a whole long list of that so today I'm going to share three tips with you which are going to help you get rid of fillers while speaking. Hi, I am Surabhi Jain, your language acquisition coach and I help you learn English beyond classroom. I help you live your English and love your English so that you can speak naturally and you can excel at workplace. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how even if you bring a small change in your behavior regarding the way you currently communicate with the people, it can totally transform the way the other people perceive you. Now, it's really hard to impress and inspire people around you if you use a lot of vocal fillers while you present. Now, I had a habit of using kind of, you know, sort of, a bit. But for you, it might be a uh, um and maybe uh, so actually basically and the list goes endless. Now, this is a major distraction while you are speaking. If you can get rid of these, the listeners, the people around you can focus more on the message and the content which you are sharing with them rather than focusing and counting your ums and uhs. So let's look at the three tips to overcome vocal fillers, which I have been using past many years and which has helped not only me, but many of my students as well. So tip number one is a mindset tip and it is getting comfortable with silence. A lot of time we fill the silence or in other words, what you can call pauses with ums, ahs, you knows, because we think that if we take a pause or if we go silent, the listener might think that we have lost the track or we don't know what we are talking about. But we need to understand that absolutely opposite is the truth. Now, when you take a pause or you go silent, it allows your idea to sink in in the minds of your listener. They are able to reflect on your ideas. They are able to understand your message. And then they are ready for the next one. So when you don't take a pause, it's just like one long sound. It doesn't give the opportunity to your listener to reflect and accept your message. So get comfortable with silence. Step number two is to develop a new habit and replace the old one. Now, many a times we are not even aware of the ums and uhs we utter while speaking until someone brings it to our attention. So to overcome this, we need to develop a new habit of practicing in private a bit louder than what we normally would do. When you speak loudly, even your ums and ums come out louder and you are able to hear your ums and uhs clearly. And when you are aware of it, you can get rid of it easily. Even better, you can record your speech. And when you hear it again, you can note down the number of times you have used those filler words and sounds. And gradually, you will find these filler words and sound reducing with each practice. Tip number three is breathe. Now, instead of saying an uh, um, or whatever the filler word is, breathe. When you take a nice breath, it not only sounds as a nice pause to your listeners' ears, it also helps you relax and you come across as more composed speaker. So those were my three tips to overcome vocal fillers. 
But enough about me. What about you? What are your vocal fillers and what are the tricks which you use to overcome your vocal fillers or you recommend others to overcome their filler words and sounds? I would love to listen from you. Please mention them in the comment box below. And if you liked these tips, if you found this video helpful, do share it with your friends who use a lot of vocal fillers and because of which they lack proper communication skills. And if you found this content useful, do subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss on any such useful video. Thank you for watching the video. I am Surabhi Jain saying goodbye till we meet in the next video.